In Israel, even Memorial Day proves controversial. The annual joint Israeli-Palestinian Memorial Day ceremony is scheduled for Tuesday evening. It's designed to bring together bereaved families of those killed in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The entry of Palestinian families on the holiday hinges on the approval of Israel's defense ministry. For the second straight year, that approval was denied. And for the second straight year, the decision was overturned by the Supreme Court. The ruling called for unity and to bring hearts closer together. The government screams judicial overreach. Peace activists say the court is simply showing compassion that the government refuses to display. We wish that we don't know, we don't need to go through this uh, system of court and army and all the restrictions and the permit system. And uh, we have a freedom to gather uh, together with our Israeli partners today, and this event shouldn't be a threat to any human that want to live uh, in peace here. But opponents of the ceremony say there is no comparison between Israelis murdered by terrorists and the terrorists who are killed in return. Every year, the organization Combatants for Peace organizes a ceremony that equates families of terrorists with families of fallen soldiers. In Israel, we treat this day with meaning, even sanctity, and equating those who murder with those who were murdered is so curious and strange that I think whoever wants to fight terror or remember the fallen soldiers should oppose the ceremony. It's almost assured that the 2020 ceremony will come down to the Supreme Court again. That's if the government has not yet fulfilled its promise to strip the court's ability to overrule policy decisions, a priority that coalition partners specifically campaigned on. Thank <laughs> you.